your vacuum to the chuck. And it goes right here. It's just a quick connect. That's it. Then we can load a wafer. And all the chucks have banking pins. So you just bank the wafer up against the pins and you're good. Um, and then we need to turn on the vacuum. There's one here labeled chuck on. This is all back, well, the AWH switch you never have to worry about. Leave that one where it's at. The chuck on switch is the chuck vacuum to vacuum down your wafer. So now it's on, it's not gonna move. Okay, then we push it forward and it drops in. It should be, there's a cutout here in this plate. Uh, this should be uh, a little bit low. Oh, that's locked in. Yes. Okay. Then, uh, all you have to do is push this in until it stops. Okay. Turn on, there's one uh, switch here named uh, Theta Stage On. Mm -hmm. Okay, we switch that on, which turns on vacuum so that when the chuck comes down, it will be effective. This is up down for the whole station and everything. Next, we do down, and then pull this back out, and you're ready to run away. Actually, what you do want to make sure is this tubing is back behind here. Otherwise, it will get caught and stuff. Then we can run. We run the wafer. Wafers. I don't know if you guys have jobs in here or not. You haven't been showing how to make jobs? I've made jobs in here for testing. 750 micron round test is the one I created. Uh, we'll level it. Close it. Uh, when you learn how to do jobs, how to create jobs and stuff, this will be a lot easier. You have your own job for each substrate that you want to expose. Okay. In this screen, you can you can change your exposure time and and your focus. Mm -hmm. So you could keep all your times at one time or increment the time for an array, and the same with uh, focus. This button has to be on manual load. Mm. If it's on this one, it will not run. Or this one will not run. Mm. Only manual load. All right. Press OK when you're happy with the job. says press OK when wafer is on the chuck. If you thought, oh, I did something wrong, you can quit out of this. And then move. But the way we've, we've already put the wafer on, so we hit OK. And then it will, it will um, take the wafer, level it, and then expose it. Leveling it now, now it's going to expose it. OK, now it's asking you to press OK when wafers on the chuck. Here we want to do always do quit because we want to take that wafer off and put a new one on. Mm -hmm. That's for a manual, a truly manual, take the wafer off, put it back on. Another one. So when it go when these become active, then we go quick quick access again. AWH again. Stages to manual load again. That will bring stages back out to the load position. And then when these become active, it will be ready to remove the wafer. So now it's ready. All right. To remove the wafer. We have to 
wash the tubing at all times because it will snag on here. Uh, push the, uh, the plate in. We turn the phase stage. Vacuum off. We want everything to go up. And then pull it out. And there's two cutouts here so you can grab the handle. On the, on the chuck. And there it is. We have vacuum here so we can remove the vacuum to remove the wafer and get it going. Okay, let's say we want to shoot another one. This is a new wafer. Turn the vacuum on. Okay. Slide that into place. In. Turn that data state vacuum on. Down. And come back up. I'm going to put the hose in. And we're ready to go. Now, on the second wafer, you don't have to, if you shoot the same job, you don't have to go in and select the job again. Take it out of this. back to the screen where you left. So you hit repeat. And then we'll shoot another wafer. It goes another wafer. Press OK when wafer's on the chuck. Levels it. Buttons are active now. Quick access, AWH. Move stages to manual load. Buttons are active, we're ready for another way. I guess so. <laughs> This uh, quick disconnect right in the front here is a button. If you push that in, it releases the. Okay, that's good. Spring loaded. So it releases the uh, tube. Okay. Put the chuck away. And unlock that. Shut the door and you're good. You log out. Okay, when you log on, you're going to come to this screen. Mm -hmm. When you want to load a radical, you go to Quick Access mm -hmm. and then RMS. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you'll put your radical in mm -hmm. a slot mm -hmm. and then uh, perform inventory. And has, your radicals have barcodes on them, so it knows which radical to take when, on the uh. job. And right now it's reading the barcodes. There's already one out there on the on the flat, so it knows it's there. Uh, it, if you you can take it off here too.
just going to take the radical and put it in the box. You don't want to ever, under any circumstances, have your hands inside it. All you're ever going to play with is the box, these, and this stays closed. Okay? Because this area here is going to be uh, 10 to 100 times cleaner than the outside room. And so actually, leaving this door open, I would probably ill-advise it unless you were just running something really quickly. Because it's very simple for this thing to have be open and for you to turn around from that computer and walk back and jar it with the door or do something else. And then this is probably one of the three most expensive tools in the entire library. Also, the fact that you have the this door open or these doors open while you're running your lintho process means that you have contamination from the outside possible through the optics you run. Right? So you'll have less chance of getting particles um, involved in this. But, and they yeah, actually sure. like it. I mean, you guys like having everything closed up for 10 minutes before you expose. Right. So. But for quick runs, let's see. He just showed you in five minutes how to change. He didn't have to load the four inch ports in there. He could have easily loaded a four inch silicon wafer back in or a six inch silicon wafer back in and had the machine re retool at the same amount of time. Yeah. And so you can see the flexibility now. You can change your substrate in five minutes and still make the same, still do the same shoots. You can expose yeah. small parts, right? I mean, it has to be complete wafers? Uh, no. Uh, you can do. I mean, like, you, know, you can do the quartz slides and microstrip slides. Okay. We'll be able to do membrane uh, wafers, four inch membrane wafers. Okay. We'll be able to do four inch wafers, uh, six inch wafers, four inch glass wafers that are 450 millimeters, 750 microns thick, and then we'll be able to do four inch that's uh, one millimeter thick. But we can't do the, the two by two millimeter uh, slides that we have. Not without building a small external chuck, but okay. that's not an expensive task. That's a couple of thousand dollars, and maybe um, Chris can do it in the machine shop. We're mostly doing orange flavors. Yeah. Are we doing any?